Hey guys, welcome to Pick Tech Tech. Today I'm doing a video upgrading my Lenovo Legion 5, my Legion 5 Pro. So I'm gonna be using it. This is a 32 gigs kit from Crucial. I paid about 120 something dollars for it. And also I'll be using an Adata Saltfish as um, a secondary drive. This um, laptop came with a 500 gigs of storage, which is almost filled up right now. So there's no better time to make an upgrade. So there have been reports about the um, stock RAM on the Legion 5 Pro performing poorly in games, up to about 10 frames per second or 10%, I believe. But um, I'm going to be doing a benchmark of about 8 or 10 games, so comparing if there's a difference between, or in my case, if I could see any difference between the uh, stock RAM, which has some pretty bad timings, compared to this crucial kit which I know for a fact to have some pretty okay timings. So for for this setup I'm gonna be using my Hevanto um, tool set. I got this on Amazon. I'm gonna link it in the video description. So without further ado let's get right to it. I'm gonna shut down my laptop right now as you can see I'm running Windows 11. So it looks pretty sleek. Okay PC is shut down now so let's get right to it. Generally, I find placing a um, um, mouse pad before putting your laptop on top makes it quite easy to move it around. Okay, for this unboxing, you're gonna need a plastic pry tool, two other guitar picks, so, um, a magnetic screw mat so you can keep track of your screws and the position that you're in, and of course, your, your additional storage and your RAM sticks. So let's get right to Okay, all the screws are out. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Any irritation that came out. So now you now to the next phase you have to get a plastic pry tool. You can start from very easy if you stick a finger on this edge of the laptop can help you get underneath it pretty much. Stick a finger. clips on this laptop <sighs> finally we've got an opening it does take a lot of does take a lot of efforts to get the first pry tool in so now you can Slide your peak down this way, and see if you can loosen. Yeah, that's it. Okay, down this way. Now up to the side. about it man I have to say it just takes a lot of walk around to get this done Let's try and get this side to clip. 
Okay, that's it. Finally, okay, we have on this side. Okay, now we're done. Finally, that takes thing. Just raise it up a bit and push it backwards. The new thing should come off. Okay, that's it. And it's off. Hopefully, nothing is broken. So this is it. This is, as you can see, pretty chunky heat pipes. Okay, the RAM sticks seats beneath this metal um, covering, so that will go first. I'm gonna use this tool to get that out. You want to use plastics for the internal part of this of the laptop just so you do not pop out any of these tiny little transistors or capacitors I believe or whatever they might be so this is the um, this is the default RAM stick that came with the laptop as you can see I'm gonna be replacing them with my crucial 32 gigabyte stick so I won't just be getting a better RAM upgrade but also an increase in capacity which I need for a lot of workloads that I do so out with the old and in with the new and better ouch so I don't I do not know if these RAMs are these RAM sticks are dual rack. I don't know. But this is what I know. Okay, it goes in this way. Okay, that is done. Just gonna place these RAM sticks in this compartment in here to keep them safe for now. Okay, then let's replace this metal protection or shielding I guess you have to make sure it aligns properly it has to go into some certain grooves if you can see on the laptop the, the, the little pin guide grooves or well, I don't know if I can call it pins but you can you know just you know just make sure it's all fixing properly then you push it down and it's, it's simple and to expand your storage the additional storage drive is underneath this metal protection to set this to the side so then the screw here it's quite amazing the, the the length that Lenovo went to shield components like this, other manufacturers do not go this, this distance, but I'm quite happy they did. Okay, now I'll be getting out my Edata one terabyte drive. Bring this out. It comes with uh, aluminum heatsink pre-applied. Hopefully it doesn't um, and this also has um, this metal protector or shield also has thermal, um, thermal tape in the back. Hopefully that helps with cooling. Okay, slot thing. Okay, first of all, we have to remove the, the bolt that secures this in place. Push it down. to set this aside okay and so secure this okay and that's done but that's the only thing you can wait on this side my particular this laptop came with the MediaTek um, Wi-Fi card 
to be fair i have had some issues with it you know um some dropped connections i have the latest updates on every possible thing i could update so i really don't know if that's the issue but it hasn't happened since i moved to windows 11 so hopefully that fixed that fixed the issues i had the wi-fi speed is okay it's so far i've had no issues concerning the speed so let's just put it that way okay but i won't be doing any um um wi-fi card updates today but if you want all you have to do is take out these two screws over here take this out and um take this out I believe there's another one up here. Yes, take this out. All screws are the same size, so you don't have to worry about messing them up. So this is the inbuilt um, storage card. So if I pick this up, so you guys can see, this is what comes with the laptop. It's a Hynix storage drive 512 gigs of storage is pretty decent speed i have to say i have no issues with this drive so this is the mediatek card that came with it so that's if you want to do an upgrade but i won't be doing that today so i'm going to be replacing this back careful be careful to line up well okay so now let's put this back in Okay, so I guess that's about it. If you want to change your battery, if you want to change your batteries on this laptop, it's quite easy. All you have to do is disconnect the battery connector over here and take out the screws on the bottom and the battery is gone. But uh, this laptop came out last year, so I don't think anybody will be looking to replace batteries yet. But if you can, if you want to, you can get batteries at Lenovo Parts website. I think it's retails for about $90, but you can get a replacement battery if you want to. This is 80 watt hours, which is pretty decent. Um, it gives an okay battery that has right about six hours of movie watch time for me. So just in case you're wondering, the GPU sits underneath this heat pipe while the um, CPU sits here. Actually says AMD. And I think there is no NVIDIA written here, so... Okay, so now let's put it all back together. These are the two speakers. Okay. So to put it back together, it goes from this way. Set this aside. So it's good to have a mask pad beneath so you can easily turn the laptop whichever way you want without worrying about scratching, putting a dent or a scratch on top of the laptop. When fixing, you have to try and make sure it's all lined up. As you can see these are clips where this black um, bottom plate clips into place so you have to make sure it's all lined up perfectly so when you snap it in it all fits right hopefully this time it all works as planned hopefully you got that okay that's good front clicks all around everything seems to sit quickly nicely in place the clip in the top okay everything seems fine okay and before putting your screws back in always remember to you know turn on your PC to make sure everything works right because well in case probably something goes wrong you don't have to take take off all of the screws again and to well you know what that means
pieces are now waiting for the screen to come up okay boom that's it legion so guys thanks for watching this video on how to upgrade your lenovo legion 5 pro um thanks for watching might not be a pretty long video but thanks for sticking it out with me so i just wanted you guys to know how difficult it is to get it done so i didn't want to make it a super cut and you barely see what's going on but this is it it's not an easy process you have to pry it takes a lot of prying and a lot of finger trying to get underneath it but uh all said and done it's 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 not an easy process but anybody can get it done if you're committed enough to do it so that's it guys this is my laptop and um, so far everything seems to work right i'm gonna put in my passcode here a bit so, okay i'm back in I'm gonna go do a quick check on my ram here I'm go tax manager Up, as you can see, set is running. Get that in focus. So you can see, um, everything is working now. It says 32 gigs of like 32 gigs of storage. So it's running at 3200 megahertz, which is quite good. So well, what can I say, guys? It works out. No errors. Everything works. I didn't have to go to BIOS to tweak any settings it just will grab right out of the box which is really good so saves me a lot of heartache and stress so I'm gonna shut this down and um, finish oh to check about the hard drive this PC and boom the new hard drive is there one terabyte actually I have some files in it previously but it's nice to see that it comes up without any itch so I'm gonna turn this off now and um, and put all the screws back in and um, and that's all I guess. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one and don't forget to like, subscribe to Quick Tech Take. Have a good one.